Hello the kids, it is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Fallout 4. Alright, when we left off, we were at the doorstep to finally meet Kellogg and finally get some answers about our son. And I was in that menu because I had to uh, pop is. some things. Most resilient man in the Commonwealth. Yep. Funny. I thought I had that honor. Not yet. Well, not anymore. I got it now. Where is my son? Where is Sean? <laughs> Pal, I'm just a puppet like you. My stage is a little bigger, that's all. Sean's a good kid. A bit older than you expected, am I right? Yeah. But he's doing great. Only, he's not here. He's with the people pulling the strings. Fuck you, Kellogg. Let him go. Your time's done. Your son is exactly where he belongs. He's home. In the Institute. Great. Fantastic. Place I can't get to. Well, at least not yet. So where is it? Huh? This Institute. How do I get there? <laughs> Haven't you been paying attention? You don't find the Institute. The Institute finds you. You open the closet just a closet. You can never find the monster that hides inside. Not until it jumps out at you. But I think we've been talking long enough. We both know how this has to end. So, you ready? You know, in a hundred years, when I finally die, I only hope I go to hell. So I can kill you all over again, you piece of shit. Whoa, he starts fighting almost immediately. That's kind of bullshit. And Kellogg has a skull on his uh, name, I just noticed. That's not good. Not good for me, anyway. Okay, he... Go, oh, jeez. Okay, well, this guy's also being a problem. Of course he has a bunch of synths with him. Got to have some help somewhere. Alright. And Kellogg's actually taking a lot of damage there. It's not bad. Good for me, anyway. Yeah, come on. Oh, you just kicked my dog. Now you're going to get a good critical shot to the head. And... That should do it. Down he goes. And reload. Kate, there is no heat. What are you talking about? Kate, you're losing... You, you, you're kind of losing it here. Darling, you're... That's... Uh, <laughs> the reason I had to back up a bit was because I knew he was going to start firing, but I didn't expect him to be firing right after my statement was done. I did not expect that. Jesus. Uh, that was... That was a fight. Uh... I actually had to pop medics before I started the fight. Ah. There we go. That's what would have helped me. Gotcha. Okay. Or helped him, rather. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> that entire fight can be a real pain in the ass if you're not leveled for it, and I knew I wasn't leveled for it, so I had to actually pop some medics and some food before the fight because I was not at full health uh, and I was in trouble should, you know, this guy start firing and not stop. <laughs> so, yeah, that was that was kind of redonkulous. Okay, now it's time to loot Kellogg's body for a couple things. Uh, some of them being rather important to the story, others being because I want them. Uh, one of them being, you know, the rounds for the 44 caliber uh, revolver. There we go. I can't talk anymore. Because he has Kellogg's pistol, which is a revolver that refills your action points on a critical hit. This is, at times, a gods like weapon. <laughs> this is an amazing gun. Should you know when and where to start using your criticals? 
It is God's like. I pick it up every time because it is that good. Plus, it has mostly all the mods that you can get on it already. The only thing it doesn't have is a stronger receiver, and you can always add that on. I'm pretty sure I'm high enough to get at least to this close to the advanced. I'm, and I've just realized I don't have a camera, so why am I doing that gesture? Anyway, I'm going to take that. Thank you. Kellogg's outfit, which is actually pretty good on its own. It's not great, but it's pretty good. Uh, I'm going to take that because, you know, I earned it now. Jeez, those tidy whities Oh, dear, dear God. Okay. <laughs> and apparently he was more cyborg than man because he has a lot of these. Cybernetic enhancers. Uh, most likely from the Institute. Uh, brain augmenter, which is probably, you know, helping why he survived so long. Uh, the limb actuator, which was probably for the arm that was covered in armor on that setup. And the pain inhibitor, which, you know, obviously inhibits you from feeling pain. So you can actually focus during the fight. So I'm going to pick all of those up. One of those is a thing that's important to the story, as is this, but we'll get to the one that's important later and he used none of his stealth boys which i found hilarious <laughs> to me he didn't even touch them and we got this one here that has all the mods on it really um well all the mods you would really want uh except that reflex site the reflex site's a little annoying if it's not a circle but other than that uh yeah it's Got the advanced receiver, long light barrel, uh, muzzle brake. I mean, if you're looking for a suppressor, I mean, you'd have to make that. But pretty solid pistol on its own. So, I'm going to pick that up. There we go. And we're done here. You were barely human. Yeah, pretty much. And that is how most of the Institute operates. At least in this sort of regard. And, Wow. There's going to be a lot of tech stuff around here that I can pick up. Oh, that's great. Oh, yeah, I forgot how much of it you can just grab. The recorder. A lot of it has aluminum in it, too. Ooh, Robco Fun. There we go. Includes the Pipfall holotape game. Haha. <laughs> well, I was just picking stuff up is all. That's really about it. Oh, and coffee cup. I don't know if there's a difference in the ceramic between the clean coffee cup and the regular coffee cups, but hey, you might as well pick them up regardless. Uh, just looking to see if I'm missing anything. It doesn't look like it, at least over here. Uh, stim pack and Addictol, might as well. Uh, vacuum tube and a skull. Well, don't know why the skull was there, but the vacuum tube makes sense. Okay, now let's go look at that computer. Try and learn another couple things about Kellogg. There we go. Up, oh, I think that's my medics wearing off. Okay, security door control. Might as well open that while I'm here. All right. Perfect. And the access logs. Search for more info. Discuss your findings with Nick. Access local login Kellogg. Notes. The boy Sean successfully delivered back to the Institute. Payment received. New orders to track down Renegade. Gather reinforcements. Clear out, cleared out and secured Fort Hagen. We move out soon. Track down Renegade. Renegade Synth or Renegade Me? That's a question. Hmm. Gathered reinforcements and cleared out and secured Fort Hagen. So this isn't his home base. He just grabbed it for the next mission. Okay. Fair enough. All right. And that's about all I can learn from this. Oh, and it opened the doors over there. Nice. Let's see what we that way. I see what we've got for what i've already picked up everything darling what are you talking about see what we've got i've got all we can see 
Well, yeah, yeah. Told ya. But no, you didn't want to listen. Alright. Onward. Whoop. Ah. Uh, it controlled that door. Okay. Alright, well. Let's do this all again. No, it says closed doors. That's weird. Huh. Alright then, well, that's weird of it. Or whatever. Oh, I guess opening those doors, it closed that door, I guess, maybe. I don't... I... I'm not claiming that I know what I'm talking about. I'm just trying to figure out as I go and sound dumber all the time while I do so. Yay, now I'm overburdened. Woo. Let's try some buff out and fix that. Or... Or... Do I have food statuses going? Anything good? Yeah, I still have grilled red stack going. Okay, so I won't bother eating that. Um, maybe the stout. Hey, there we go. That does it. Perfect. Come on, Goyle. Come on. There we go. Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Dog meat ended up getting kind of cut up by the door there. There we go. And Kate should be phasing in any moment now. Should be, being the key phrase. There we go. Whoa, that was weird. Nice jump, though, Kate. All right. But now we have dealt with Kellogg. And now we go onward. Oh, we're outside. We're actually outside. We can see the moon and everything. How about that? It looks like the moon's seen a couple more craters. Right on the front there. Or are those alien shots? That's a nod to Mothership Zeta. Just so you know. Okay, turrets. I think I killed all of them, didn't I? Error all clear. Um, the system diagnostics. Okay. Five turrets linked, and they're all broken. Yeah, I, I was making sure I actually killed all of them. <laughs> Secure, uh, security door control. Um, oh, well, okay. I thought... It would have been able to open the door from there, too. But I guess not. All right. Oh, what's that music? <gasps> People of the Commonwealth. Do not interfere. Our intentions are peaceful. That's apparently the Brotherhood of Steel. Jesus. I've only gotten to see that twice. <laughs> and it's awesome as fuck every time. <laughs> Holy shit. That's amazing. Oh, man. Okay. Well, that that's done now. <laughs> Kate got to see it. I got to see it. Dogmeat got to see it. Ah, that's so cool. That's the coolest fucking thing. Alright. Now, I guess I can talk to the Brotherhood of Steel, but I don't want to. At least not right now. Mainly because I don't necessarily like the way they went... But uh, that's a whole different thing that we'll get into eventually, I guess. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, sometime soon, I'm not sure when. Okay, well, they're going to go to a place eventually. Some of the light lights are uh, acting up. 
on their way to that place, but hey, that's to be expected. After a while, the draw distance has to, you know, call it quits somewhere. They will be right above that thing, I think. I don't know. Um, they they should show up on the map anyway. Um, or not. Huh. I sworn they showed up on the map at this point. Huh. I, well, oh well. <laughs> Uh, they'll they'll show up eventually, I'm sure. Hey, dog me, dog me, buddy. I, I need you. I need to carry stuff. I need to carry some things. Uh, some junk that I picked up because it's good junk, good stuff. Uh, okay, camera. Oh man. God damn it! Now I need. Now I legitimately need to drink another stout. Because that's the only way I can move right now. Alright. Uh, let's go back to Sanctuary so I can drop off my shit. Because <laughs> that's necessary at this point. God damn. God damn. Alright. That was awesome though. Managed to kill Kellogg and get to see the Brotherhood in a single episode. <laughs> well, I got to let you see that too. And that's the important part. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Man, these are load screens. <laughs> I mean, I know it's because of all the mods I have, and it's because of that that they take so long, but... Eesh. It's annoying after a while. There we go. Drop all the junk. Wow, I had... <laughs> 100 and... 50-ish pounds of junk. Yeesh. Dog, wait, I have hey. more stuff on you. Get back here. There we go. All right. Uh, the fat man and the laser pistol. Those are kind of important. And everything else. There we go. And perfect. What, you gonna do with just space. what am I going to do with that? I'm going to put it in our workshop. So that way we have more stuff to make. Preston. Buddy. Pal. Okay, Kate, you have a couple weapons of mine as well. Oh, and you deserve a couple more rounds. Because you've earned it. Uh, combat rifle, a syringer, and that. Alright. Well, that was the intent. At least for right now. Anyway. I got a new thing. I got a new mod at some point. Um, also, this is for the stealth boys to eventually recharge them once they're used up. But I got a new thing. I'm not entirely sure where it ended up. Um, I can make ammo now. Yay! Which was one of my favorite things about New Vegas is I could make ammo if I started running low. I, I don't know why I thought it was here. <laughs> don't know why I thought it was here. Maybe here... No. Well, I can at least scrap some of these. Um, I'd rather not scrap them until I can get some good shit out of them. Uh, speaking of which, when can I? I got... Uh, got some of the uncommon components like screws and aluminum. And 23 is when I can get the next rank. Uh, screw it. It's going to be a while before I can do that. Let's grab these. These are not really that valuable, but they are resource heavy, which is why I want them in the first place. This is far better to sell than it is to break down. Um, this one actually is better to sell. Uh, hmm. Considering this is just the upgrade that I would eventually do to this. Anyway, I'll break this down for just a bit of steel. Uh, syringer. I should put that away eventually. And... It's, it's funny. The Institute version is more valuable than the regular version. Even though they're basically the same sort of weapon. And... What's even funnier is that means they... <laughs> that the Commonwealth values these over these, even though that means they're running with weapons of the Institute. Which I find hilarious. 
Okay, maybe... Maybe it's a crafting thing I have to eventually put up. Uh, yeah! That's, that's what it was. That was what it was. Okay. Well, now I know. <laughs> I have to put this up somewhere. Uh, somewhere where it'll make sense to have it. Uh, balls. Uh, put this over here, maybe. Yeah. That'll work. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. And put this over... If I can get it to line up properly, that'd be great. Uh, there. Ha-ha! <laughs> Perfect. And now, just get out of here, I can craft weapons. Well, craft bullets for the weapons, rather. <laughs> I can craft weapons already. Ah, uh, what do we got? We can make the casing and primer by breaking down the bullets. Huh. Huh. Wow, this is, uh... This is a bit more uh, in-depth than I expected. I'm going to have to play around with this on my own time so that way I can figure out what I'm doing <laughs> so I know what to do. Okay. As it stands for right now, I figure it's pretty much how, uh, well, how the old system worked for uh, New Vegas. Uh, you break down casings and primers and brass and whatnot for uh, from bullets that you already have and then after you break them down from that you can make them into the bullets you want at least parts that coincide with what you're going to be making anyway I'm going to assume that's what it's like I'm not knowing anything so at this point I'm just playing this all by ear and hoping I'm right <laughs> Because I don't know at all. Anyway, I think I'm just going to end the episode here for right now. I'm probably going to sell off the uh, extra weapons that I decided I was going to sell. Um, probably at uh, Diamond City. Because that's the easier place to sell it at. And I can always bring new stuff in that way. But for right now, I'm just going to end this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat. Playing games, beating the shit out of Kellogg, and meeting the Brotherhood of Steel, albeit indirectly by seeing their airship for you.